For the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in proxy settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to turn off automatically detect settings. Turn this off. For the second step, we're going to head over to search again and type in ncpa.cpl and click on enter. Once you're on it, it will either say Ethernet or Wi Fi for you. No matter which one it says, we're going to double click on it and then click on properties. And then you're going to click on Internet Protocol version 4. And then make sure that use the following DNS server is ticked. And then for the first line, we're going to make it 1111. And for the second line, we're going to make it 1001. And then click on OK. Once you've done that, you want to right click on either your Ethernet or your Wi Fi and then click on Disable. Once it's been disabled, you want to right click on it again and click on Enable. It might take a while to enable again, but just wait for this to load. For the third and final step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once you're on it, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Once that's been done, we're going to type in netsh space windsock space reset and click on enter again. Once you do all the steps in this video, restart your computer, then the problem should be fixed.